2022 Cambridge CSAT. What's the value of x in the sequence 2, 12, 36, 80, 150, and x? And the choices are this. In part 1, I will tell you the fast way for solving this. In part 2, I will tell you the solution if we need full solution exam. And in part 3, I will tell you a homework related to this. Please consider subscribing during the video and turning on notification and like the video. This problem has lots of ways, lots of solutions. If you had or if you found other solutions, you can comment below this video. Okay, let's focus on first solution here. For first element, I have this. So I want to see it is related to what in terms of one. Second one is this. So you can see 2 is 1 cubed plus 1. And also next one. 12 is 2 cubed but plus 4. So we can say 2 squared and also write this. 36 is 3 squared, 3 cubed plus 3 squared. So you will understand. And you can check 80, 150, and you will see, okay. The last one, it is 5 cubed plus 5 squared. 1 to 5 plus 25, it is 4 cubed plus 4 squared. So x is 6 cubed plus 6 squared, which is 216 plus 36, which is 2, 5, 2. The answer is this. But maybe you ask. How we can understand that it is related to the answer is B. How we understood that it is related to a polynomial here, degree 3 cube, and also squares. So in solution number 2, I will explain it completely for you. One of the most useful ways for understanding it is related if it is related to polynomial with what degree? If it is not polynomial, we can say a lot of ways, and we don't have a special for solution for these types of things. But a lot of them are related to polynomials, for example, degree 3, like this problem. You should consider the difference between consecutive terms, means 12 minus 2, 10, 36 minus 12, 24, 80 minus 36, 44, their difference. 150 minus 87. Now here, we will see the numbers are different. You should keep writing to reach a sequence with equal numbers. Next one. 24 minus 10, 14. 44 minus 24, 20. 70 minus 44, 26. So again, they are not equal. The next line. 20 minus 14, 6. And 26 minus 26. So. If here we see equal numbers, it is related to degree 1. If here it is related to degree 2. If here it is related to degree 3. So we understand our numbers are a n squared, the degree is 3. a n squared, uh, sorry, is degree 3. a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. So, here, if we consider the numbers, and in this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I can write 5 equation. The first one, if I replace n with 1. So, let's consider a 1 squared, 1 cubed, 1 squared, 1 plus d. It will be a plus b plus c plus d equal to first number, 2. The second equation, I replace n with 2. It will be 8a because a n cubed because of this part. The next one, 4b plus 2c plus d. Second element, 12. The third equation, it will be 27a plus 9b plus 3c plus d. Equal to third element here, 36. The fourth equation, 64a plus 16b plus 4c plus d equal to 80. And fifth equation is 1 to 5a plus 25b plus 5c 
plus D equal to 150. And then I consider their differences. So differences here, if you subtract 7A plus 3B plus C equal to 10. Here, again, if you subtract 27 minus 8, 19A plus 5B plus C equal to 36 minus 12, which is 24. Again, if you subtract 64 minus 27 is 33, 37. 37A plus 16 minus 9, 7B plus C equal to 44. And last two equations, 1 to 5 minus 64 is 61A plus 25 minus 69B plus C equal to 70. Now, the previous one, we had five equations and four variables. Here, we have four equations and three variables. Okay, in next step, and because, look, we have four equations, only consider four of them is okay. So here, I consider only three of them. I subtract 19 minus 7 is 12A. 5B minus 3B is 2B equal to 24. C and C will be canceled. 24 minus 10, 14. If you subtract these two terms, 37 minus 19, 18A plus 2B equal to 44 minus 24, 20. And the last step, if I subtract 18A minus 12A is 6A equal to 20 minus 14, 6. So we conclude A is 1. Now, the first one, A is 1. If I want to find B, I replace it, for example, in first equation. If A is 1, then 12, 14. If you subtract, it will be 2 and B will be 1. If you replace in first equation here, A is 1, conclude B is also 1. And then here, A is 1, B is 1. 7 plus 3, 10. 10, 10. So C is 0. So C is 0. And then here in main equation here, first here. A1, B1, C0. 1 plus 1, 2. So D has to be 0. So Because D has to be 0. And if I replace it here, A is 1, it will be N cubed. B is 1, N squared. C and D are 0. So it is the sixth term. So we can replace N with 6, which will be the answer X. 6 cubed plus 6 squared, which is 216, plus 36, which is 252, 252. Okay, so I told you this idea. It has also another solution. If you had other solutions, write, and let me write the homework for you. And okay, you can solve the homework like this with this idea that you've learned in this video. There are around 40, 50 important formulas and ideas. You should memorize the formulas in geometry, combinatorics, number theory, and algebra. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Our homework is, again, we have some numbers, 622, 54, 108, 190, and X. And calculate x is what? Okay, please, you can use the similar way. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. You can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving. For example, like BMO, AMC for America, BMO for British, IMO International, hard problems, and you can prepare for CSAT, for Cambridge, or other exams. If you had any question, as I said before, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.